Hello, this is JC, Cruise uh, Cohort 23. Today I'm going to do a little reflection about my student data evaluation. Um, and I have six students in this class. Five, all six of them are IEP students. And just, just showcase um, my data that I have inputted on this specific lesson. And, um, you know, also highlight the progression that we've, uh, our, my students have done. Obviously, some more than others, but for the most part, um, based on a lot of this data is a reflection of what they're doing or how they're doing in turn when it comes to their summative um, assessments uh, and grades. Um, we have Justin, um, Justin, who is... Um, done very well uh justin actually his uh 85 um in terms of uh, understanding the material his vocabulary has expanded very well understanding the material as well extremely collaborative during our uh our lessons uh so he's in that um you know definitely on that um proficient uh level um and then arnesh as well arnesh is one of our strong students although he's a little quiet he's been a little ill the last couple of days, last couple of weeks. Um, so he's been a little quiet, but for the most part, he's done outstanding in terms of understanding the material, understanding the vocabulary. And, you know, he's tried his best to collaborate, even though he's been a little quiet. You'll notice him. He's a little crazy. one where he's wearing a mask. Uh, he's been a little quiet. He's been ill. Um, but he's been, in terms of uh, grades, um, his summative, his assessments, and he's um, extremely well. Um, Aiden uh, has done well. He's one of our quiet students. Um, he's one that um, requires a lot of, uh, you know, get him going and started. Um, requires a lot of support. Um, extremely shy. Um, you know, his um, challenges are always, he needs to, you know, one of us to kind of get him going and focus. But once he understands the material, he's really bright. Um, uh, it's just required for us to kind of give him some verbal cues to stay on task and to stay focused. And um, but once he he does, uh, he does very well. Um, so he's at you know because of that, I kept him at a, a basic. You know, I know that he's learning, uh, he's understanding the material, his grades is pretty much like a C between a C and B. So. Um, that, you know, his collaboration is very minimal. Uh, and that's where most of his grade comes, uh, takes a hit in terms of the valuation and the progression to the class. I, you know, he's done a little bit, but you have to call him out. But he's very quiet. That doesn't change. And, you know, throughout the course, I think he's been, um, because of his collaboration not being so active, um, he's at that too, uh, basic level. Uh, but, you know, we love Aiden. Uh, Ricky, Ricky is uh, one of our students who is uh, one of our challenges this year. Uh, last year he did well, but this year he's just struggling, just being focused. He's been absent quite a bit, and you notice that he wasn't out, he was absent on this specific lesson. So unfortunately, he's one that um, we were able to you know follow up with him on the next day, and he was able to accomplish and get him going. But you know he struggles just uh, attendance <clears throat> and uh, missing class missing opportunities for him to uh, get involved and collaborate with the class and be engaging. And it's just a way that <clears throat> our students reinforce their learning. Uh, they don't come to school. It's just a big missed opportunity. And Ricky, that's the reason why he's basic. He's more than capable of doing the work. His absence has completely taken a toll on him. Uh, Tyler, uh, extremely very excited about Tyler. He's done very well. He's one that doesn't speak much, but he's extremely, he's always raising his hand. And when I call him, he's not afraid to, uh, you know, uh, eventually uh, give his input. And I love his uh, his honesty, his integrity into, into participating. Uh, and he's definitely at that uh, proficient level as well, where he's just, you know, trying and doing his best to collaborate and be engaged and learn. And I know he better stuff. He benefits from that. Um, I'm here. Completely surprised. I feel he's uh, kind of excel uh, on this as the year progressed. He started a little shaky this year. In the beginning, you'll, you know, he was uh, he was kind of lingering in the bottom. He was having a hard time uh, getting focused. But uh, in the recent, the last two or three um, lessons or you know or videos that I've done, uh, I've seen a progression. His interest, as you know, he's a lot of, and you can see him. He's constant. 
He's not afraid to express his uh, opinion. He's not he's not he's not afraid to collaborate and express uh, and give his input. So when it comes to the lesson, and uh, Amir is, uh, uh, I'm very excited, and he's one that I think he's benefiting uh, as the as the process. You you probably have seen I've seen it through this process uh, that he has developed and he has evolved. So he's definitely in that outstanding. His just collaboration is one uh, is par from all of them. And uh, he's done very well. And his, you know, understanding the material, uh, the way he asks his question is very well because it tells me that he's really thinking and he's putting things into perspective, analyzing uh, and answering and understanding the content and the terminology. So it's, I'm very impressed with Amir. So, yeah, that's uh, that's kind of what we've done. And, you know, uh, most of our kids with the goal that we set up from um, the um, uh, from the goal setting uh, from the beginning, you know, most of my kids have uh, the collaboration has improved. Um, you know, under you know, uh, the understanding the material has improved. Uh, the grades have been able to uh, you know to to achieve. We've been able to achieve the goals. So I'm very excited of what our kids have done. So uh, they're slowly getting into. You know, obviously we're in first. Uh, we're just finishing our first quarter of the year. So especially with ARS, it takes a little time to kind of get them in the rhythm. Uh, but they're slowly starting to get into a groove of the year, of the academic year. So um, I'm excited to see them uh, grow, and I'm going to continue practicing a lot of the stuff that we've uh, done through this module, through this cohort, um, to see how my students uh, evolve uh, through the year. I think this is a great opportunity to track down their data. Um, you know, this data has been so important for me. I've uh, been able to track them down and follow up and try to tailor my, my lessons based on that. You know, this lesson that I just taught, it strictly came from this data, from the outcomes of the assessments from the summative. Um, it, I designed it based on homework, on their responses, on their effort, uh, on their progression, and I kind of highlighted points where I see them struggle, and that's where we're gonna we kind of retaught this lesson, um, or we 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 I, I I you know designed this lesson based on on that, um, and in addition, you know, just to prepare them. Um, for the quiz for the future assessment. So, um, you know, this data has been great. Our goal setting has been great, uh, has been important for me, and I'm going to continue to use this process uh, to make sure that we don't miss and our kids are, are really uh, benefiting from uh, the opportunity where they're, where, where they're missing, and we would just want to make sure that we support them. So uh, that's, that's pretty much it, and I appreciate it. Thank you. This is, once again, this is JC from Cohort 23. Thank you.